Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. So we've got a product to integrate here and we can see that we can't integrate it by substitution because that's a, a quite an easy method to use. So if that would work, you would do that. But that won't work here. So the next method we would try is integration by parts. So let's write down the formula first of all. So this formula comes from the formula you'll be familiar with from differentiating a product. And you might think it looks a bit unusual in that we want to work out an integral and yet the formula for it looks well kind of complicated, like we've got to actually work out um, some other integral. But that's the way it works. You'll find that this will work so long as the integral on the right hand side is simpler than the one you started off with. So when we've got a power of x, what we normally want to do with it, not always, but in this case it will work, what we normally want to do is we want to make that equal the u because we're going to differentiate that and when we differentiate a power of x it becomes simpler, the power is lower. We'll see how it works here. So we're going to choose that u is going to be x so that when we differentiate it we get 1 and you can see looking ahead when we substitute this into the formula that the du by dx being 1 on the right hand side will make it really easy to work out that integral. Right so if u is x then the dv by dx must be the other part of our integral so that's e to the power of 2x minus 1 and we need v to substitute into our formula don't we so v well we need to see that we've got e to the power of something so that's something we have to differentiate so differentiating the 2x minus 1 gives us 2 so we divide by that because we're integrating so we're going to get a half e to the and then this stays the same the power stays the same so it's a half e to the 2x minus 1 so now we've got everything we need to substitute into our formula. So we're going to have u times v. So that will be x and v is a half e to the 2x minus 1. And then we're going to subtract the integral of v du by dx dx. So I am, because we're just looking at this for the first time, going to write down the, um, the value of du by dx. So you wouldn't normally do that, but just to make it really obvious what we're doing, our v is a half e to the 2x minus 1. Our u is 1, so we're multiplying by 1, and then we've got dx. So let's tidy that up a bit. So we could put the x over the 2 and then multiply by e to the 2x minus 1. There's nothing we need to really do to that bit. We haven't got to do any differentiating or integrating. That's already been done. The other bit is the integral. So I'm going to take the half outside, then the integral symbol. And we obviously don't need to write down that 1 outside the bracket. I was just putting it there to, uh, to show you that I had put the du by dx somewhere. And then we're integrating e to the 2x minus 1 dx. So you can see that we started off with an integral that we couldn't do, x multiplying e to the 2x minus 1. And we've ended up only needing to integrate e to the 2x minus 1, which we can do. So it's just a matter of finishing it off. So the first part stays exactly as it is. Let's leave the half there and then integrating e to the 2x minus 1 is going to be a half e to the 2x minus 1. And then as we finished integrating, we add on our arbitrary constant. Let's call that c. So we could tidy that up. Again, this stays as it was. And a half times a half is a quarter. So e to the 2x minus 1 and our constant. And you might like to take any, any common factors outside. So the e to the 2x minus 1 can come outside a bracket. 
we can put the four outside. So inside the bracket, to get um, a half, we need two quarters, so that's two X to get the first term, and then just minus one there, and then plus C. 